um, welcome to my channel, Open Heart Healing. Welcome back. Um, if you've been here before, my name is Sarah Walsh, and today I'm doing something a little different. Um, <clears throat> I uh, had an experience yesterday that um, inspired me to um, do this video, and it's a um, kind of a channeled message from my higher self. Uh, so, um, if you clicked on this video, you will know that the, um, the title of it is um, a message for my haters. And uh, if you know me and love me, um, thank you, first of all. <laughs> and second of all, you might be surprised to learn that I have many haters. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that comes with the territory of... Uh, being someone who came here to shine the light of unconditional love in the world. Um, my light often uh, will expose people's, uh, the skeletons in people's closets, we'll just say, and um, it kind of um, exposes their shadow side. And um, of course, if they have that much of a <clears throat> shadow side, then their ego is probably pretty, uh, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Rampant? I don't know if that's the right word. But um, so yeah, so I, I, I'll trigger people's egos if they haven't done their work. Um, and, uh, and, then, and then when people's egos get triggered, they will project back onto the other person because they don't want to take ownership for um, their triggers. <clears throat> and they don't want to look at their own, you know, their own issues and things that they should be working on themselves. It's easier to just project it back onto me. So anyway, I have a lot of haters, <laughs> and um, that's okay. That's all right. I mean, it's not been easy, but I guess it's uh, part of my journey. It's part of you know our soul contracts and what I agreed to do in this world. So um, I don't enjoy it, and it never really gets any easier to deal with <clears throat> people coming at me for no reason or, <clears throat> you know, undeservedly anyway um there's always a reason I've always you know there's always something that I've done but it's not I wasn't doing anything with ill intent or maliciously typically I'm human I've made mistakes and my shadow side is um uh I feel like I just talk about this all the time but my Scorpio moon and the Scorpio moon um people with that placement tend to have um a lot of wanting to take revenge on people who have done them wrong. Um, if we get emotionally hurt, we want to we wanna lash out and hurt the other person back. So that's something that I've had to work on a lot in my life. So I definitely used to always, used to always like, if I didn't, I usually don't, didn't actually go through with it and get revenge, but I would like fantasize about it. <laughs> and so I've had to learn through my own uh, inner work and healing, I've had to learn to, um, you know, move past that to recognize that that might be my in my nature, but I don't have to entertain it or I don't have to allow that to really manifest in my life anymore. So um, now I don't ever wish people revenge or whatever, but um, yeah, so we'll get into that a little more in a minute here. Um, but the first thing I'd like to say to my haters <laughs> is um, that I love you. I truly, truly love you unconditionally with all of my heart because you are me and I am you and we are all connected with the same energy and it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you've done to me. I still love you. Now, that being said, I'm not going to probably want you in my life anymore <laughs> if you've done me wrong and um, hurt me in some way, but, um, but I still love you completely, unconditionally and fully. So you have my love which might drive some of you crazy, but that's, that's right. I'm not doing it to drive you crazy. I'm just doing it because that's who I am. And then the second thing I'd like to say to any of my haters out there is thank you. Thank you for what you did to me because um, it made me stronger. So um, depending on the, how much, you know, I, how much of a part of my life that you were and what happened would determine the level of hurt that I felt or what I went through. But 
and some some of it was really really bad um, but ultimately I've I can recover from anything and um, and I'm always stronger for it so thank you for making me stronger and for teaching me lessons and for teaching me how to have unconditional love for those who've done me wrong because that's a hard thing to do right um, and also, um, I'm guided to say that, um, I had so much come in this morning when I was getting the, um, download for this video, but now I didn't write it down. So it's, I'm trying to remember it, um, or just let it come through again. But, um, there's, there were so many things. Um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that, um, anything... <coughs> that you do to somebody else, that energy comes back to you. That's what karma is. At least that's my understanding of it. Maybe it's not the, maybe karma is not the right word. I don't know. I've had people, ugh, people will argue with anything. <laughs> I was just got to get off Facebook yesterday and I'm like, good. I don't have to listen to people like argue with each other about what is the real definition of the word and blah, blah, blah. But whatever, you know what it, you know what I mean? You reap what you sow. So if you, even if you think someone did you wrong, if you do them wrong back, you incur that karma. That karma will come back to you. So, um, yeah, you should just be mindful of that, of the way the laws of the universe, the way the energy works. And um, if you're not familiar with that, you might want to start researching it because um, you'll never have a good life if you're wishing other people ill. And especially if you're, like, going out of your way to try to hurt somebody bad. Your life is going to be pretty crappy, honestly, until you clean that shit up. So um, I was guided to tell you that <laughs> in case you don't know, because I just feel like anybody who, who deliberately hurts another person doesn't quite understand how energy works and how they doesn't understand the laws of the universe and things like that. Um, and also... It's taught me an important lesson of that, like ultimately someone can only hurt me as much as I let them hurt me. Um, so yeah, I'm choosing now from this moment forward, I'm not going to let other people have the power to hurt me. I, I take all my power back for myself. Nobody else, Nobody else can, because you can't touch, you can't touch the peace that's in my heart. You can't touch what's inside of me. You can try to like hurt me from the outside, but that's only going to hurt me as much as I'm allowing it to hurt me. And, and it can never actually touch the core of who I am. You're never going, you're just going to make me stronger on the inside. And um, I know that I am always divinely protected. So um, oftentimes when people try to do something bad to me, or hurt me in some way, it, it'll backfire. Like, the energy will reflect back to them, well, which is, I guess, kind of what I was talking about with the karma thing, we reap what you sow. But I mean, sometimes I think it can be immediate. Like, it just it just falls flat. It doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, there's that uh, component to it. What else did I want to say to my haters? <laughs> I just think it's so silly. Um, And also, it was um, one of my haters that actually, um, an instant where they he graffitied my house. Apparently, he's like five on the inside, five years old. Um, and, but anyway, I it was really there was that, and then there was other things too at the same time. It wasn't just that, but that was kind of like the biggest thing, I guess. And um, it really affected me. Like I, I really let it affect me. I let it get me down. I let it like get inside and really kind of eat me up and like, you know, like, why? Anyway, but that is what inspired me to turn to Jesus in my heart when I was going through that, that really dark, dark night of the soul. My, I've gone through many dark nights of the soul in my life, but now when I go through them, I know, and I just went through one yesterday, but now when I go through them, they're a lot shorter. So that's good because I can kind of 
uh, move, you know, I know I have the tools and the ability to be able to move through it more quickly now than I used to. And um, anyway, but I was in the dark night and um, I decided I was going to turn to Jesus and um, try to see what was going on. And so I did. And um, Jesus helped me realize that um, this life is, is fleeting and it's, it's just a, it's not real. I mean, the love that we have is real, the lessons that we learn are real and the experiences, but ultimately this isn't real. Like we're, we're in a play. We're just actors in a play. We're, we're playing out a play to be able to learn these lessons and things. And um, on the other side, the person who is your enemy here is likely like your best friend. Like You just agree to come here and play these roles to help each other develop and learn and to grow. Uh, for our soul's evolution. So, um, yeah, Jesus, anyway, reminded me of that, that to zoom out and see the bigger picture, that it's not, it's not so serious. Even the seemingly serious, serious things here are um, in the grand scheme of, of existence and what is real. It's not really that serious. So, now, that being said, I'm not talking about terrible, terrible things that happen in the world. I mean, I can't speak about that really because I haven't really had those things happen. Thankfully, I've been pretty protected from really serious things, but I just get a lot of little, a lot of little things. Um, <laughs> people either love me or they hate me. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the path that I chose um, to serve a purpose. Anyway, just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. I think I said, but I'm not sure that I'm, I just, I'm always divinely protected. So, um, yeah, that, um, is something that I, that I know in my heart and my being and like, I know that I'm going to be okay no matter what. And, but, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let anybody you know, dim my light. I came here to shine and I'm, and I'm going to shine and I do shine. And that's what, what some people hate. <laughs> and then they, they want to try to, um, dim my light or they want to try to steal it for themselves. That's kind of like a lot of what my experience has been is that people see my light and they want to try to take it for themselves because they don't have it. They don't have that that light from within themselves they haven't figured out how to get that how to get that yet and maybe they never will and so they just try to take it from other people that, you know kind of i guess if you've heard the term energy vampire that's kind of what that is is, is somebody who doesn't have the ability to to get the energy and the light from within themselves and so they have to try to take it from other people and external things and um i'll just say that you'll never be happy doing that you, because you're just incurring really terrible karma by going around trying to take everybody else's power and trying to take everybody else's light for yourself. So um, if that's you or if that resonates with you at all, you might want to be honest with yourself and take a good hard look in the mirror and uh, open up your heart and take a look inside of there and see. <laughs> because I believe that anybody, I really do believe that anybody could be redeemed, so to speak. Anybody could learn to tap into that light inside of their own heart. And when you ignite that and you open that up, your whole life changes. It's like amazing. Um, that doesn't mean your life is easy, obviously. <laughs> um, but, but it will, like, you, you could start to, you know, redeem yourself. And if you, there's somebody that you need to apologize to, you should apologize. That's a good place to start to kind of, uh, balance out that karma um, if you don't want to actually or you can't apologize to the person directly you can always um, say the Ho'oponopono prayer to them um, you can look that up it's H-O apostrophe O-P-O-N-O-P-O-N-O -O -O. I think I said that right it's a Hawaiian it's from the Hawaiian traditions um, 
but it's basically you just you just kind of like go in your heart and imagine the other person and you say I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you and you just keep repeating those four phrases over and over again until you maybe feel a shift in the energy and um, honestly I say that to people who have even done me wrong or who I feel has to have done me wrong so if you're one of my haters I probably said the whole bona prayer to you um, to because that's just for yourself too you know but it just helps even out the energy if there's any kind of a imbalance there um, Yeah, so I guess that's maybe all I needed to say. I don't even know what I just said. Um, or if I forgot anything, but um, yeah. Again, I love you. Whether you hate me or you love me, I love you. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you being in the world. Um, oh, I know what else I was going to say. I was going to say how I was saying, like, I think anybody can be redeemed. I don't know. But as I was thinking about this, I I was thinking I was, that even, now a lot of you probably maybe don't believe in Satan, but I do believe Satan is real. And um, he's a fallen angel. And he chose to deny deny the God, in, God inside of himself. And he decided he was, you know, his ego took over and he that he was as powerful as God. So he didn't need God. And so he cut himself off from that. God spark inside. Um, but I think even Satan could be redeemed. It just, I wonder, I don't know what like the theological community would think of that <laughs> concept. I don't, I'm sure it's been talked about before maybe, but I'm just not aware of it. But that just came to me of like, maybe that's how like this world gets flipped to the new earth or something. Like if Satan can finally like reconnect to God inside of himself, I don't know. <laughs> But I think that that happens with each of us choosing individually to reconnect to God inside of our hearts and to tap into that divine unconditional love and light so that the light just pours out of you and you never have to look for it outside of yourself again. You never have to take it from another person. And um, this world would just be, you know, is a, is a better place. Each time somebody chooses to do that, the world, you know, the energy of the world switches to the more positive. I guess. So um, anyway, that was just kind of a weird tangent. But <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think I said everything I need to say. So thanks for listening. And I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.